Uh, so we're here at Walgreens and today we're not doing a food recipe, but we are doing a recipe on making our own hand soap. Um, I know it called the recipe calls for Castile soap and the only place that's that, um, the only place that carries the Castile soap is Walgreens. So we're on our way in here and, um, well, I'm out, well, I'm on my way in here. Rhea's back at home. I just got off from work. So, um, yeah, we're going to make our own hand soap. Um, and I decided to do this because, um, because, you know, a lot of the things that we use on our skin has so many toxins in it. So I'm trying to go like at least having some products not be that toxic. So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to like, um, like the things that we put on our skin is so toxic. Like the washing powder, the hand soap, the things we brush our teeth with, what we wash our clothes with. It's so toxic. So I want to do something that is um, natural, you know, like doesn't have so much ingredients um, involved. So I know that I think Castile soap is kind of like plant-based. So um, let's go ahead and head inside. So they got lavender and peppermint. Okay, so we'll go with the lavender. All right, guys. So I got the pure Castile soap. Um, and it's certified with organic oils. Um, so it's pure castile means soap made from plant oils without synthetic ingredients. So the only thing I need to go buy is the, um, the hand pump, a glass hand pump, which I didn't do today. Yesterday I went and bought the, the Dr. Bonner's pure castile soap. And I went to Walmart and got me a glass um, hand soap pump. So what the recipe calls for to make your own hand soap. Okay, so you're going to need some Dr. Bonner's, which we got. And you can put some essential oil, but this one is already lavender. So I'm thinking we don't need any essential oils for this one. Um, but if you want to put essential oils in, well, you can. But... Um, I'm thinking that it already smells. Oh, yes. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it already smells. It smells like lavender. So you can do multiple things with the Castile soap. You can, it says you dilute it and drill one, one soap for 18 different uses. Shampoo, shower, bath, mop, laundry. The ingredients are water, organic coconut oil, organic palm kernel oil. Um, Like if you were trying to Eat palm kernel is not good because they have that in a lot of foods. Um, potassium hydroxide, organic olive oil, lavender extract, organic hemp seed oil, organic jojoba oil, lavender extract, citric acid, and tocopherol. I think I'm saying that right. All right, so we're going to dilute it. And, um, so you can also rinse your veggies with this also. So you can use this for a lot of things. You can bathe with it. All right, so I'm gonna go get some water. All right, so I got some water. And um, the reason why I wanted to start like making me and my family's household less toxic is because um, a lot of the things that are in the ingredients that are in a lot of the things, the hand soaps, the washing powder, even toothpaste, it's very, very harsh on our bodies. It's very, very toxic. So I'm just looking for, I'm just looking for a way to do things 
a little bit not as toxic as the way that the um, the people that make the stuff on the shelves. You know, if I can make my own, that's that's even better. Corn castle something, and I'm pretty sure um, it's probably not going to be as thick as like when you use. The so salt that's from the store is probably isn't gonna be as thick. Let me see. Okay, so that's how it came out into my head. It's kind of foamy. So let's go. Okay, it does have a nice consistency. Okay, guys, that's how it looks. How it looks. It kind of has like a lighter feel to it. So let me go wash my hands. It smells really good. It smells like lavender. Alright, guys, so um There you go. And the Castile soap was like, for this little bottle was $12.99. I think the bigger bottles are like $19.99. They're a lot bigger. They're about, I believe about this big, the bigger bottles. Um, and you know, I've, I just, I'm just trying to make um, the household less toxic. And so I've been looking at a lot of videos online trying to figure out how I can do that. And this was one of the ways um, making your own hand soap that's one way and you're not getting all those toxins in your body that they put in these in these um things that we have to use every day for the ingredients to make your own hand soap is the dr bronner's castile soap water and um some essential oils because they do have some some of the Castile soap that is um, unscented. So if you get unscented kind, you probably will want the essential oils. But since this one already has lavender in it, I didn't need the essential oils. Alright guys, so that's how you make your own hand soap. And if y'all have any recipes on how, how you can make anything homemade, let me know in the comments. Alright guys, I want to thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And we will see you on the next one. Bye.